This is how you can create your own, let's call this car checker intro. All right, all you need for this is, first of all, a clean plate of your background scene or your scene, basically, right? Without you in it. Then the next clip that you're going to record, well, you can do this all in the same take and then just cut it, right? Then you will need yourself appearing and you can do like a snap or a clap or whatever you think. After you have both clips and it looks sort of like this, I cut it right there. What you can do is bring your second clip on top of this one and try to match them so that they are in the same place or like that everything else is in the same place. In my case, I actually had to adjust the color page of this one because the background, since I was not in it, the camera was reading the scene a little bit differently, right? But most of the time it's not gonna be noticeable. Uh, if you do a little bit one frame right here, you can see the light and then this one is a little bit different. But since this effect is really quick, it's barely noticeable. All right, then what you wanna do is go to the video transition section and find a noise dissolve transition or any type of transition that you like, you can test them out. Then drag this onto one of them. We can check this out frame by frame, looks like that. But then we wanna move this first point down here and then the other one towards the top part. Here on this noise dissolve, you can actually choose a different type. I'm gonna set it up to radial. You can increase or decrease the softness, play around with these. And then what I did here is in the noise section, I changed the detail and played around with a little bit of a seed rate. And you can also set it to discontinuous. Now, if you want to add a cool effect to this one, go back to the controls and activate the borders here. And then just add a little bit of a cool color to these. And then if you go into the color page here or diffusion page, sorry, we're going to add a glow effect and then see if we can mask these like that. Right now that you have that there, you can actually adjust with the border on you. It can actually adjust or see better how the mask is working, right? And then frame by frame, you can see how it is affected. Uh, I think the glow is a little bit too much, but you get what I'm saying. We're going to get rid of it for now. Then all you have to do is copy the same transition into the bottom clip. And now you have your own Carl Tucker intro. So if you want to add a little bit of an extra touch and an adjustment layer here, create a keyframe here on the zoom, go a few frames right here, and create sort of like a little bit of an impact zoom transition. Then you can actually just ease in and out these clips right here. And then it looks like that. And then you have your own cool Carlos Tucker intro. Try it out for yourself and come back tomorrow for more.